Norwegian Wood by the Beatles. We're going to be looking at this song at three levels of difficulty because the basic open chords in this song are very easy and even beginners can have a basic strum through it and even a simple picking of the melody, which will be the first level of difficulty. The second level of difficulty will be adding basic strumming to that classic intro riff and then we'll be learning it final third level of difficulty as close to the recording as we can possibly get it. So I'm in standard tuning and we have a capo at the second fret. So even though I'm playing a D major chord, the resulting sound is actually E major. So we're in the capo key of D, but we're in the actual key of E major. And the other chords in the song for the very basic version are a C add 9, after that D major, we have a C add 9, a G slash B for that intro. And all the verses also. The other chords that we have for the rest of the song are a D minor chord to a G major, which I'm choosing to play like this, E minor 7, though a normal E minor would be fine, and then an A major. But for any of those chords to sound right, we're going to have to learn this folk style strumming pattern, which goes like this. We can think about this as being in the time signature of 3-4, so we have three beats, one, two, three, which we play as a down, down, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... Notice that slight accent on beat one. We're playing beat one just a little bit louder. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... And it's a good idea for all the strumming in this song to be kept quite narrow. No big movements. Small movements mean we can get that accent nicer and also start to do the picking of the main melody. But let's have a look at the verse first. So the basic version of this, level one. Should I say she once had me? So we have this she once had me. And also, isn't it good? Norwegian wood. That's the first section at level one, as we're calling it. The bridge section goes to D minor for four bars to a G. D minor, E minor 7 to A. Let's add the melody to it only first, so just melody notes on their own. Any beginners should totally have a go at this, but please give it a little bit of time to get these notes right before we start adding more things to it. So we have the second fret of string three to fourth fret, and we're gonna be using frets two and four with the first finger and third finger a lot in this riff. It's fourth fret, second to four. Two, four, two, open, four. If you can do a hammer on, on the fourth fret, just the first time. It sounds closer to the recording, there's something to try. Next, two, zero, four, open. One more to go, three, open to zero. Now that last section is where we'd actually be hitting a C add nine, 
G slash B than to D. So that's the basic version for beginners. Level two, we're going to add a simple strum to that, but not loads. Not, don't add loads of strumming straight away unless you're very confident with it. What we're going to go for for level two is this. doing there is doing a down up down strum in between all those melodic notes we were just playing before. The melody notes are actually all part of the D major scale, capo key of D remember, uh, so that would certainly be something to practice if you've not come across it yet, just the standard D major scale in open position, but we're going to be doing that here with chords and that means we need to use our little finger. So this is the little finger at the 4th fret on string 3 and also the 4th fret on string 4. Like this and like this. Now get used to doing that with your thumb in different positions. I prefer it high and I can do that grip. Some people can't. Some people need to keep it a little bit lower, a little bit more in the middle of the neck and experiment with those thumb positions so that you can actually reach these notes while having all the other strings ringing out. That's the thing that we need to work on first. Top tip, if you're really struggling with using your little finger at all, move a capo high up, like the 5th fret or the 7th fret, and do the same thing. And you can actually work that capo down, because the frets are closer together up high. But we need to work that down to being at the second fret. And then we pick all the same notes as before. Pick, down, up, down. Just a down, up, down strum between every one of these melodic phrases. Down, up, down. Keep that going through the verses if you wish. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. She showed me her room, isn't it good? Norwegian wood. And if you can do that, you're well on your way to doing level three, which would be as close to the recording as we can get it without being the Beatles, you know what I mean? So we do all the same things again, but we're going to keep more of a strumming pattern going and um, let me quickly demo it. So I'm doing all the same things with the left hand, there's nothing new happening here. But all I'm doing to change the sound then and to move it closer to the recording is doing more small strums rather than single note picks. And essentially when I hit a melodic note like, like this, I'm hitting double stops, kind of like, you know, I'm never hitting one note at a time. 
doing the kind of lead guitar thing is f hitting pairs of notes, which is called double stops. That's all double stops means. And I'm doing that alongside just keeping that strumming motion going. And that strumming motion was just one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. That coupled with the hammer on of that little finger makes it sound more than the sum of its parts. crucial technique to be able to do that double stops smaller narrower strumming is we're moving from the wrist and we're keeping everything very small remember that melody is all just played on the middle four strings so we don't want to go outside that if we want to strum it and play play the melody with the chords as well <laughs> So let's have a play through this together and you choose the level that you want to take this on at. Remember, I really encourage trying to go for an easier level with this, but trying to play along. It's really important so that we can keep this going. Let's start from that D major chord. I'm gonna play that melody twice. If you want to do the basic version or just strum a D chord, it's totally fine. Whichever one you pick, grab your guitar and join in with me. Here we go. Three and a four and a I once had a girl or should I say she once had me she showed me her room Isn't it good, Norwegian wood? She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair sat on her rug, biding my time, drinking her wine. We talked until two, and then she said, it's time for bed. And the ending. goes like that. Hope you really enjoyed that guys. I'll leave a couple of similar songs on the screen now that I think you might really enjoy. If you struggle with this, D major scale in open position is what you want to be checking out and then just getting used to more of these kind of melodies. It will come with a little bit of practice. Hope you really enjoyed that and I will see you next time.